Hi guys, I am Sanjay. Today we'll see how to use multi action controllers. So before we move on to multi action controllers, I would like to tell you about multi action controller classes. So in our example, what we'll do is we'll create a new project test controller app. Go next. Generate the XML and finish. We we'll add our libraries as well. The way we add it. We'll add to beat path. Yeah. It's done. So we'll move it. Web.xml configuration. We'll copy it from my previous one. Just copy it. Dispatches are built at XML as well. So, to implement multi multi action controller, a class should extend a multi multi action controller class. So, before that, the controller class name handle mapping declaration should be there. What it does is it maps a URL with a specific controller. In my case, it's customer controller. So we'll have we'll write one package in org or send multi and a class called customer controller. And we have internal path method resolver. So what it does is it it is a multi action default controller that matches the URLs with the suffixes and prefixes declared in that controller specific controller class so in my case it's customer controller so we need to have one package name or dot standard multi action controller so multi dot customers controllers so we write a package sorry it's, it's package the package name is or dot sand dot multi and the controller will be customer controller whatever the declaration declaration we are giving over here the same should be here Oops, well, I have we need to create it in our test app right yeah create our new class and that would extend so I have my code already created I'll just copy and paste Later, we'll explain it. So, here is my controller class looks like. So, as soon as the request comes to the customer controller, so I will tell you a bit about the request URL mappings. So, by default, what Spring will do is for customer controller the URL in case of spring should be backslash custom, slash customer slash whatever the method we are asking for so spring does it's, it replaces the controller name from here and creates a URL in lower case with the customer so suppose if I request for a customer by slash add what it will do is it will search for an add method inside the customer controller and before searching it consults to this internal path method name resolver because the method name 
we have some configurations in method name because the method name what we are giving it may or may not be the same so what it does it it verifies what are the suffix and prefixes declared over here it searches for that suffixes and prefixes so here it goes it searches for test and searches for customer and from the url it gets the method name that is a in between name the name between this two sub between the suffixes and prefixes that is add so it gets the method now it gets a complete method name as test add customer so what it does it it comes inside it and executes this function and it does the view so we'll see how it looks like but before that we'll, we need to create a in my case it's views so we need to have a web.inf backslash views web.inf slash views and inside that we need to have customer page because the view that we are returning is customer page this is the view we are returning I will create a customer page dot JSP I guess. Yeah. Method name. I will print the message because the variable there was message. Right. This variable name is message. So we have written in JSP as message ms fair enough we will run the application now my tomcat started in short it will start yep started because no default is map so it will show a error yeah so here we go so my controller method is executed how it is executed we have requested for customer it goes to the controller and sees oh there is one customer controller class written over here yeah so front controller now has customer controller class and the method name is add so it again goes to him that is internal part method name resolver to resolve his confusion about the method name so he tells him man it's test the method so the prefix would be test and the suffix would be customer and you have your method name is add so search for this suffixes and prefixes adds it and returns it back to the controller front controller this dispatcher server and dispatcher server resolves this now the con uh, now this controller what it does is it executes this and returns the view to the front controller now we have our front controller having the view name it goes to the internal view resolver resolves this problem again using the suffixes and prefixes and gets the name back as a response to the browser so we'll see now how to implement this using a annotation based configuration so we'll write some annotation based configurations but before that we have this I will copy and paste in my comments if you want to use it you can use it directly so before going I will I will get some annotation based configurations in from my previous tutorial the example that we shown yeah we we'll copy this I explained it you can refer to my previous tutorial for that just paste it over here my base package is org.sand.multi the com controller scanning we have data and there is views in my case because here we have created a views folder so the view resolver will look here so the name should be changed as views I will go to I'll write a base controller here rather we'll write a base control yeah right annotations now yeah and write request mapping annotation 
sorry. Customer will refer to my just to save my time. Backslash customer page. Yep. Mm, we have no Dell one. Later. Cool. So this request mapping would look the request if the request comes for slash customer slash that it will go to here. It comes for slash Dell. It will go to there. So let's execute it. Yeah. And run the application. See how it works. Get started. Yep, my Chrome is giving signals. So, friends, we saw how to implement multi action controllers using annotations and using non annotations as well. So now, please provide your comments, your likes, subscribes. Thank you for watching my tutorials. We'll come back with more. Till then, goodbye.